Let's take a look at gain staging. Gain staging is where we affect the gain structure of our audio and how it works with our plugins. So for example, I'm gonna put a plugin over here, which is an analog model plugin. This is a Shep 73. And it's convenient because it has a VU meter on it. And the VU meter is going to tell us the optimal level to run audio into it so that it performs how it should. If we run it in too hot and our VU is clipping, that means we could possibly be getting some saturation or artifacts out of the plugin that we might not want. So for example, let's just press play and see where we're sitting. Self-sabotage demons always creeping. See me in the mirror and they wanna see me bleeding. Ah. Told me I was odd for so long. Now so we're getting a good level. Your target is usually around zero VU. Now this is an individual instrument, but it's a bass guitar and it has a sustain to it. If you were running like a kick drum or a snare or something like that through a VU meter, it's gonna react a little bit different because it doesn't react very well to transient information. It reacts better to long held out information. If I were to adjust my volume over here, it's not gonna have any effect over this because of the routing that the audio runs through. So our audio starts here, it runs through our plugins, and then it runs out of our volume fader. So if I turn this up or down, we'll hear it's going up or down, but it's not affecting the plugin in any way. So as an example, let's go ahead and press play. Self-sabotage demons always creeping. See me in the mirror and they want to see me bleeding. Ah. Told me I you can see it's still affecting it the same way, even though I have it turned as far down as it could go. So let's put it back to where it was. And now let's affect the clip gain. So the clip gain, which is this little clip fader right here, that's going to actually affect how the audio runs through these plugins because it comes before the plugins. So I could simply turn it up or down to try to get a good target on my VU meter here. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it way up over here and I'm gonna turn it way down so we don't hear it super loud. And then let's see how it's affecting our meter. Okay, so now we're clipping on our VU meter. I'm gonna keep pushing it as high as I could go and see if we get any saturation that's noticeable out of it. You hear that? That little bit of distortion that's coming in on there? That's because the audio is really hot and it's running into this plugin so hot that it's causing it to distort. Now, if I take that off and listen, I'm not hearing any of that distortion. Put it back on. Now I'm hearing distortion. So that shows that analog model plugins, if pushed through too hot, you will get some saturation or distortion out of it. So to make sure that you're not adding that when you don't want to add that, then you're gonna set your gain so it's running through these at the optimal level. Now, most plugins don't have this issue because they're not analog model plugins. So for example, let's pull up a plugin that's transparent, like this EQ right here. So now I can do the exact same thing I did earlier, bring this down and then turn this way up, turn off my analog plugin, and then let's listen just through here. All right, so even though I'm clipping the plugin, which it shows me right here, I'm not hearing any distortion, I'm not hearing any saturation or anything like that. So you could go ahead and clip these plugins all day and it's not gonna change anything. But when it comes to the analog plugins, I could do the same thing and now I'm gonna start hearing that clip distortion. All right, so it's a different story when working with analog model plugins or actual analog hardware. So if you're actually going through some outboard gear, you wanna make sure your gain is set correct as well because you're sending it in, you could get some of this distortion if you overdo it on that unit. So for my session, all of this is already gained to a level that I like it at. I'm not having to adjust it much because I wrote this beat and I exported the stems at the levels that I needed, so everything is good to go. Sometimes you get stuff that looks like this and it's really hot, then you would just go ahead and clip gain it down. So if you don't see the little clip gain fader right here, come up to view, go to clip, and then come down to clip gain info, and you can select that right there. Now, say you don't wanna do it that way, you could also use a trim tool. So I could come in, go to a multiple mono plugin, go to other, 
and come down to trim. And this is going to have effect over gain. As long as it's on the very first insert, it's going to affect all of the plugins after it. So I could turn down my gain right here if I need. I could turn up my gain right here if I need. So this is a handy plugin to use instead of going up or down on the clip gain. You could use this to affect your gain. All right, so all of my gain is good to go. If you need to adjust yours, go ahead and do that. And then we can move on into the next step.